Hey, it's May, and today we're gonna to be trying another Sims 4 build challenge. We're all about building skills, using talents, to find new hobbies, and one of my favorite hobbies is building in The Sims. And don't sit here and say that The Sims is not a game because it is. Keep watching if you wanna see me turn this into this. <laughs> off in this wonderful town of Wakatab, Wakab, Wakaba in Mount Komorebi. If you don't know about this challenge, you pretty much do about one by one, two by two, three by three, four by four, until you get up to, I think I went up to eight by eight, um, but you can't see it now because I changed up a whole bunch of stuff later on. Um, and it's actually quite difficult. James created this challenge and then Lil Simsy put a little spin on it. Hey, little since you put a little spin on it, but it actually is quite difficult. Um, unless you put it together like that and just throw it together, it's actually hard to come up with a really good house. I originally started with like a courtyard sort of idea, um, based off of the house that was right next to it, created by I think I think Delhi. I'm not too sure, um, but it was created by one of the community simmers, and then I didn't like it. I wasn't liking how it turned out. You see, I tried to put the eight by eight on top was not working was not working so i had to rearrange the boxes and you'll see that i ended up putting the seven by seven upstairs um but i moved the eight by eight downstairs and the five by five and the six by six downstairs just to try to make the bigger spaces downstairs and the smaller spaces upstairs and this is the shape that i ended up with um relatively happy but it is weird and i remember thinking how am i going to roof this so at first i did the exterior painting and then I attempted to roof. And honestly, it didn't come out too, too bad. I did mess around with the uh, shapes a lot because I wasn't sure exactly how to make it match the roofing of the rest of the world, which is usually the, the ultimate goal, right? Um, is to try to make it seem seamless and not like out of place. So I started off with the biggest part. And then I tried to extend the roof to become some sort of shade for the balcony or what would be intended to be, be the balcony. Um, but it it just was not coming out good looking at all like it's actually quite a hot mess if, if I'm being honest um, so I ended up mixing that idea and I just ended up adding the uh, balcony um, fencing now for some reason it was glitching and like taking away walls but ultimately with this challenge you're not supposed to touch the walls unless something like that happens of course you're supposed to just take the cubes in their measurements and put them together essentially so you see that weird one by one is on the very edge of the <laughs> the build um i ended up moving that don't worry but yeah so I, I started to i started with the stairs to see exactly how i wanted to do the floor plan so James on his video he decided to do like some like this kind of overlook um, space at the top where you can kind of look down um, and he said that was allowed you know I just said you're not allowed to touch the, the floors or the walls but he said that was allowed so um, that's what I'm doing <laughs> then I started on the living room I finally finally got to use the platforms let me tell you all I was not able to use the platforms this pack this um, snowy escape pack where they allowed us to use the platforms came out back in November I think but I of course something's going on always going wrong and something's always breaking with new packs and things like that if you don't know now you know um, so I was literally unable to play the Sims or launch it for since November essentially um, so here I am like discovering oh my god look at these awnings and all the all of the new items from the pack I noticed that a lot of things from seasons and from Echo Lifestyle and all of that worked well with the pack. So I was, you know, experimenting and stuff and really, really excited for the new items that I never got to use before. Even this cute little mailbox. I'm like, oh, I can't believe I was missing out. So I finally got Origin to launch the game because the whole problem was um, the antivirus software. Apparently the game, the Origin was incompatible with my antivirus software. Couldn't figure it out for months. But even here, look, you can see I'm using Seasons couches because it kind of goes with the, the, the style of the Snowy Escape stuff to me. Um, so, But you'll see how I pull the colors together and stuff later on. Um, and I'm starting the living room, but of course, uh, I 
went, took a break, paused, ate, came back, forgot to unpause, um, forgot to start recording again, completely missed um, the rest of the footage essentially. So I just continued to build without pressing, pressing record again. But don't worry, you will continue to get glimpses and glances and views of the build. Um, the living room and the kitchen is what I finished essentially without pressing record because yeah hey y'all i'm glad you're still watching there's probably going to be a giveaway origin code somewhere on your screen sometime soon but before you retrieve it i just wanted to remind you to like like this video and subscribe if you want to be my friend and don't forget to leave a comment down below as well i'll see y'all later so when i when i came back and realized oh snap i should probably press record again i started on the kokatsu room or is it the kokatsu room i think it i think that's what that table is called um and the the hot pot is what they put on top of it. I love that idea. When I first saw it in the trailer, I thought, oh, that is so cute. I need to do it now. So um, I definitely wanted a separate room. Probably illogical because that could totally be a bedroom. Like, let's be honest. It could totally be a bedroom. Um, and there's only one bedroom in this whole house. So probably should have used it as a bedroom. Oh, here I am having ADHD um, and discovering even more items. So I'm thinking, ooh, look, another lantern. And that's also where I found the uh, umbrella to fix my roofing issue up there. Um, oh my God, look at this trash can. <laughs> like these new lanterns can go everywhere. And wow, I can't believe this is in the pack too. I'm still discovering Snowy Escape, y'all. <laughs> give, give, give me a break here. Um, so then I was trying to do the wallpaper for the bathroom and discovered this wallpaper from um, Eco Lifestyle, Eco Lifestyle. And I thought, man, wouldn't this be a lot more interesting in this room, you know? Um, as you can see, I tend to furnish first and then go with the color. So I found this blue. I like the, the color in, of the Kokatsu table in blue. And so I went with that. Um, and that's pretty much what I did with the living room and the kitchen. I, I furnished first. I picked the colors of the furnishings. And then I did the wallpaper and flooring. So that's why um, I ended up with blues because I like the, the color of that Kokatsu table. And look, this shelving unit... Um, next to that is from um, Jungle Adventure so it's amazing how some of these other packs are kind of working you can see I'm kind of going through the filters and seeing what I want to use because I didn't want to use too much but it's kind of hard not to when you have so much working together um, I used a lot of seasons a lot of Echo Lifestyle, Jungle Adventure, um, um, Sulani the, the Tropical Paradise pack don't remember the name of that one. Oh, and then this one by one room I did find a good use for it while I was trying to find extra appliances. Cute little laundry nook. James actually put a library um, shelving unit in his one by one room. I decided to use it as a little laundry cubby. Not too sure if you can actually use it though. But here I am furnishing the, the bathroom. Really quick, easy. I didn't think you need to spend too much time watching me do that. Very nice, simple colors there. I also love the color palettes of this, of the items of this pack too. Very simple, but not too black and white, but just very neutral colors that can work with any gender and any style you're going for. I loved it. I love, 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 loved it. So um, here I am in the bedroom. Now it's already furnished because you know how when you build, you, you, you're you trying to focus on one area, but then you find an item that works for another area. So then you kind of throw that in there, like I'm doing here with the outside <laughs> earth rocks. The lighting rocks that I found I'm like oh this works here I'm supposed to be on the bedroom though right so comment down below if I'm not the only one that does that where I'm like oh this works here and I go back and forth um, so that's why the bedroom is furnished and then I kind of started working on the bathroom because I found this wallpaper that I really liked it's from the, it's supposed to be like for the onsen room um, so I was gonna try to use it as like an accent wall but there's no tiles that match the onsen wall outside of the big graphic so I just said you know what whatever I'm just gonna use it for the whole bathroom why not go all out? I mean, this is the first time I'm using this pack in a build. I'm, I'm going for it, you know? And I think it turned out pretty well. I did end up changing the tiles of the bathroom though to um, the floor is gonna be more white. And then I think the rug is beige instead. So yeah, I'm, I did go back finally to the master bedroom or the only bedroom and, you know, add some foliage, fix some things here and there. I did um, add some more carpet to the floor because um yeah I, I just kind of thought carpet works in bedrooms i mean i don't i don't know i don't see having hardwood floors in a bedroom as comfy so then here i am finishing up that's practically the build is practically done um i took a look around so if you're ever 
curious or not too sure what the foliage should look like on the outside of the house, take a look around outside. I'm surprised that most of the foliage is base game stuff. Like the daisies I'm putting down outside are the same daisies that are base game that are surrounding the lot. So that kind of makes it a look a bit more seamless as far as the environment goes. Um, and it turns out really well. Probably the only non-base game foliage I used was those trees, the red and green tree um, that you see surrounding. And that's pro practically the only foliage that you see come with the pack, um, with the Snowy Escape pack, is those trees. But they blend in very nicely, I believe. So I'm going to jump into the game and show y'all um, what it looks like real time. All right, so let's take a look at the house. Um, this is what the outside looks like, all the foliage done. You see, I did add a little extra detail to the roof and this little awning, um, just to give it a little more spice, a little more flair. I'm gonna try to speed it up so the sun shows. All right, so this is the front. Little mailbox right there. I love that new little mailbox. Nice little awning. Um, I added this TV and a little bit of a detail to make it seem like the TV is supposed to be there. 97.65% um, sure you cannot use the TV um, because when it's placed like that and the couch is below like that, I'm pretty sure it's not usable, which I think they should have updated that when they made platforms usable in The Sims, but we'll see if that ever gets updated. You can look um, up to the top floor weird roofing situation. So then we have the entrance to the kitchen. Very neutral colors here. I do love the light bright and a little bit touches of dark blacks. And I added a few things to the shelves, but um, I didn't worry about it too, too much. First door to the left is the um, bathroom. And I added this wonderful lamp from Echo Lifestyle. You can see the foliage out the windows, which was purposeful, by the way. That was so intentional. You have this um, kokatsu room where they can have some hot pots. Enjoy the foliage in here as well. Um, and still see outside. And, and look at the random neighbor talking to Mr. Knight. Okay, from the kitchen, you can get outside to the backyard. Not too, too much back here. I wanted to keep it simple. I ended up removing the grill because I thought it was just a little bit random. Space for them to collect the firewood for the um, living room fireplace. Just little details for when they take off their shoes. Now this space is, in America, we would call it a flex space. Um, James calls it a rumpus room. But yeah, you could um, take this and download this build if, you're, build if you're not doing the challenge and you can put a wall here and turn this into another bedroom. So that way there's another room sharing this bathroom. And I absolutely had to fit this little bay window in here some way, somehow. I absolutely adore this bay window and the little, little laundry, laundry nook. And here is the second bathroom, full bathroom. Um, Pretty nice, pretty nice. It is weird that you have to kind of go through the bathroom to hit the only bedroom in the house. That's just kind of how it worked out. That's just the way it is. Um, I like it. Simple, clean colors, um, but not so black and white. You know, you got touches of blue, greens, beiges in here, which I do adore. And of course they have their own um, balcony access point as well. Um, so if you were to add another room on this, I don't know why that's glitching. If you were to add another room on this floor and do the wall suggestion that I just mentioned, they will have they would have their own um, balcony access as well. I did use quite a few packs. I used a lot of Snowy Escape, Echo Lifestyle, and Seasons. I know that, but I in Jungle Adve um, Adventure, he must be really far sighted to be able to watch the TV from this far. Yeah, see, I don't think he can watch the TV from down in here. He, he had to watch it from up on the same level as the TV would normally be. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you missed my first Sim 4 build challenge, I'll link it up in the cards above. So don't forget to check that out. If you don't want to miss out on any other giveaways, or if you just want to be my friend, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. I'm um, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Check the description of the video for more information um, and for my social medias, which is also probably somewhere floating on your screen. <laughs> so be sure to follow me on those on my Instagram and my Twitter. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye, friends! I love
building of the sims. And don't sit here and say that the sims is not a game because it is. It is. It is. It is.